Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this Christmas tree. First, we will make guides to help us with our drawing. Select the polygon tool and single click on the center guideline. Change the sides to 3 and the radius to 200. Using the direct selection tool, select the top anchor point and holding down the shift key, move it up. Then right click with your mouse and choose Make Guides. And we are ready to draw a tree. Select the Ellipse tool, change the fill to None and the stroke to White. Then click on this intersection hold and pressing down the Alt key, draw an ellipse. Next we will cut it in half. To do that, select the Scissors tool and click on this anchor point and the other one. Now select the top part and press the delete key on your keyboard. In the next few steps we will make several copies of this line and space them equally to match the profile of this tree. First let's increase the stroke of this line. Open the stroke panel. If you don't see it go to window and select stroke. And change the weight to 6 points. Next we'll copy and scale this line, keeping its weight. To do that, first press the Ctrl and K buttons on your keyboard to open the Preferences window and make sure to deselect Scale Strokes and Effects. Now select this line and holding down the Shift and Alt keys, move it up to make a copy. And make it smaller to fit between the blue guidelines. Next we will add 4 extra lines and space them equally. First select everything, go to Object, Blend and choose Blend Options. Set the spacing to specified steps and change it to 4. Now go to Object again, Blend and choose Make. Next we will modify these lines. From the Stroke panel, open the Profile pull-down menu and choose the Width Profile number 6. Now if you wish to make any changes to individual lines, first you need to expand this object. Go to Object and select Expand Appearance. Then go to Object again and choose Expand. Click OK. And finally, right click with your mouse and select Ungroup. Now you can select individual lines, rotate them and move them. And here is your basic tree shape. If you like, you can copy it, add a glowing effect, using the symbol sprayer tool decorated with any of these preset symbols or create your own. To learn how to use the symbol sprayer tool, please check out my other tutorial. And finally, add a sparkling star to the top. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.